If you are having some old computers, what are you going to do with them? Hello, everyone. Welcome to my list episode, which I will show you a different way to transfer your old computers into a decent Chrome devices. Cloud Ready is a similar software as Chrome OS, but not like Chrome OS only able to be installed on Chrome devices. Cloud Ready OS can be installed on any PC or Mac machines. With Cloud Ready software's help, you can easily transfer your old computers into a high performing Chrome devices. It is also free for a home edition. In this episode, I'm going to use my HP ThinkClient T620 to run this Cloud Ready OS directly from USB flash disk. Previously, I have installed all kinds of operating systems on it, such as Windows 11, Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 LTSC, Windows 7, and all other different types of Linux releases, etc. For Cloud Ready, we will follow this guide, installing Cloud Ready, and complete the setup step by step based on the document in its homepage. Let's start it. Let's go to Neverware Cloud Ready homepage. You will see Install a Home Edition button. Click on it. It go down to Installing Cloud Ready. There's a bunch of uh, requirements. Network compatibility device certified check and what you need. For my list lab I'm gonna use in a 32 gigabyte sand disk USB 3.1 flash disk as a installation media. The next step we're gonna build our cloud ready installer using the USB maker. So we're going to download this USB maker. In a couple seconds, the download can be finished. Once Cloud Ready USB Maker.exe file has been downloaded, you can show it in the folder. Right click on it run as administrator. The USB creation utility installation widget gonna show up. As you can see, you will need a gigabyte or 16 gigabyte USB stick. The bigger size is better. I'm using 32 gig USB stick. And you need 20 minutes for USB installer creation. Next, send disk device are not recommended. I'm using SanDisk flash disk and it works well so um, it's your decision which one you would like to use. Since I already inserted my USB disk so uh, it will show SanDisk 3.2 generation 1 USB device for this USB drive. We can click on that and it will continue. Now you will see the installer image is downloading right now. It's about 7%, 8%. I can show you the downloading process. So we download the Cloud Ready USB Maker.exe file. Right now we are downloading this zip file, image zip file. It's going to be a couple of gig. Before it write into the USB stick, it will be extracted, this zip file, and the image file 
will be extracted out from there, and the land it will be right into this USB stick. So the downloading speed is pretty fast. It just writing speed. It probably will take in some time. So strongly suggest using a USB 3.1 or 3.2 flash disk to do this USB installer creation. If you are using USB 2, the process is going to be very slow. The booting process and the writing process all going to be slow. So right now it's extracting the complex image. It's a extension name. It's a bin dot bin. And you can see the downloaded image is 1.33 gigabytes. It's gonna take a little bit time to get this image to be extracted. Now the extracted image is 6.16 gigabytes. This beam file gonna be right into our flash disk. It's gonna take 20 minutes. I'm gonna stop here. Once it's finished the process, I'm gonna come back to continue. Since I'm using USB 3.2 flash disk, the writing process is much faster. As you can see, it's already been completed. Uh, e drive and F drive has been created. E drive is not readable in different format. It's not recognized the file system, but F drive we can see the EFI and the Sys Linux two folders has been created. Let's close that. Um, cloud ready USB created as you can see from the screen. It shows finish. We can close the window. The next step we are going to use in this newly created USB flash disk cloud ready installer to boot our thin client T620 and we will test it how it is working with this thin client and how fast it can be